Hello everybody, welcome back. This is going to be a short video and today I'm going to go over just making some stitches in Marmoset tool bag. It's um, something that I didn't really think about until <laughs> so I was talking about it at work today and now, now it's like it's got to be a way so there's a way. It's not, um, it's a little bit of a workaround and I'll show you how to set it up but really what we're going to do is just grab an alpha and then have it follow a path that you kind of can draw out and we'll set this up you can swap it out we can go to our tools grab a different one I can go to this one I also have to switch out all these just real quick it's just an example that I'm gonna do and we just draw and drag and then you got little stitches little stitches and it works with most things I think I need to up the resolution but it's not perfect but it works I just did uh, a quick model in ZBrush and just just for this example if you're looking to get some, your own stitches or something like that but let's go and see how to do this how to create it and set it up and what I did so let's clear out let's clear out this, um, this and let's go ahead and just dump it this this will be pretty much as if I started a scene down here clicked it double Double click the texture project, open it up. I changed the color just so I can have a different different look, different feel. So let's go ahead and open it up. So what we're gonna do is add in a texture or add, add that material. We'll start with the first one that I made. So if you click and drag, you're gonna see what it does. It does that, right? You only get one direction. That doesn't work. That doesn't work for what we need. The other thing is, um, yeah it needs to follow it let's do this so what I did was I adjusted this angle and we'll put it like this and it was actually I believe it was 180 so we're gonna put directional adaptive flow and then we're gonna turn on a lazy mouse and we're gonna do spacing so I think this directional had a lot to do with it right here see that now we got a directional. Now if I drag, I can actually get, if you can't see it, but now you got some stitching. And if I want to give this uh, model some stitches, we can go in and start dragging and making it like a baseball, I guess. <laughs> if you're going to go baseball stitching. The other thing that you need to change is probably this. I want to say this fit the brush is what's going to make this fit to this. So it worked, yeah. It's just an alpha, but now it should be able to fit that detail to this. And let's go ahead and increase some stuff. Let's go to the bump map and we'll increase this, see if this helps anything. So you got that. I had the other, um, you can drop in this it might help it might not I just did it a while ago as an example it might help and it does kind of look like it's about the same earlier I had three of them listed and I just kind of I kind of wanted it on the metalness I think is what I had it on so now you got it pretty exclusive to that and I don't know if that really matters because it's still gonna be an alpha in there so let's drop that and bump it so yeah you still got that I was just hoping that it would clear it up we can change this out and we can use what else can we use we can do this we can go to the next one that I made click and drag you can start to see that it kept that old material let's get rid of that we don't want that let's clear this out go to the second one click and drag and now you got stitches and this I don't know why I didn't think of trying <laughs> to do it. I, I had a shoe that I did in here, or I textured in here. I probably should have thought, done some more digging of how to do that. But this is pretty much straightforward how you can do this. Um, let's clear this out. Let's clear this out, and I'll show you some other examples of uh, what we can do with this. Ooh, let me drag this up. You can go down to, let me see. See if I can grab it. It's not smart material. It's actually I think it's textures. I'm gonna 
computer's going slow today. Come on, computer. There we go. Had to wake up. Go to textures. And then we can just drag and drop within here. I think sometimes my, my computer's got to wake up. Even though it's been awake all day. And this is where I kind of started out trying to get it in there. And you can see that it follows. And then if I drag it around. Now you got that. And we can actually adjust the spacing to be more separate. And you got that. We don't need the metal this all the way up, right? So there's different things you can do. You can actually click this, drag it in, and now you got little arrows going in. You can have pretty much anything in here if you want to try it out. I started out with these just to test it out, and it seemed to work. So if we go here, we can drag it. And I think if you needed to go the other way, we would have to flip it. I think we would have to flip it around. Or I could do this angle. Let's see if it will flip it around. There we go. 360. It's backwards now. And it works. So we can just squeeze this in. Now you got your own little odd stitching that you can use anywhere. This could be interesting you could probably have it for a hazard or something I don't know if you have a line let's see this could work I'm just, I'm just dragging and dropping just showing examples this isn't going to be a long video just wanted to show how to get some stitching and you probably drag it and drop it and put it in there and get some details and probably get some other interesting features in there so we can drag this in there we can drag this actually we don't have to drag it we'll just up the bump map keep the normals up and then we just drag and go around your hardness right here will also determine how crisp your texture is gonna look so if I go up see it's crisp you drop it down you get a little more of that fade so just play with the settings and you'll get something that you like you can ch play with the color and add textures in here you actually get something interesting and there you go you got some kind of line we really want to let's see what we got let's see if we can get some interest interesting stuff going on like this could be dots or lights and there you go you got the emissive I guess I don't know how hot that would get let's see if it turns on if I turn on nah it didn't turn on but it's still pretty cool I like I like that um there's ways if you just look around and you know just think about it and get it going so this is a short video just wanted to get this out there and show what I've what I found today um, hopefully this helps everybody and just keep you know keep learning um, later